In this video, I just want to give you a progress update to how we're doing in regards to our trip to Speed Week in 2024. Just to refresh your memory for regular viewers and for new viewers, to kind of let you know that uh, this will be my eighth trip to, to the Bonneville Salt Flats. And this will be my seventh different bike I've ridden on. Just to name a few of the bikes I've ridden, in 2011 I started on my 2009 Thruxton, basically stock, then a uh, 1999 Thunderbird Sport, then a modified uh, Thruxton there, uh, in my 2009 with a full fairing, then I got a chance ride on a ZX, Kawasaki ZX 1200, then I got a Thruxton R and ran it both as in as a stock and also with a fairing. Then I also ran a uh, 2013 ZX 1400R. Then we moved to doing a ride for our, another gentleman I met and become a friend too. He had a 260 horsepower Rocket 3 which I rode uh, last year and unfortunately that didn't end up so well. This year I'm going to be riding a new rock, uh, a newer model Rocket 3, a 20, 20, uh, 2021 Rocket 3, and we hope to have better luck with that. And here's an update on how we're doing with that. This meeting was between the owner, Jeff, in the black shirt there, Mr. Bill, the crew chief, and um, Vest and myself sitting here on the leather jacket, the rider. I figure there's about 40 tasks to be done between the time when we first thought about the idea to go to Bonneville and Speed Week and completion of the first runs. The yellow things were things that were done prior to this, this meeting uh, up here in the first meeting. We got a commitment from Jeff to do the sponsorship for the motorcycle, hotel, and registration. Bill committed to being a crew chief and bringing a trailer we got Triumph Boise to commit to the supplying the labor to rebuild the Rocket 3 if we set a record. And like I said, we had our first team meeting. On the 7th, I purchased a second set of leathers for the uh, this meet because I ended up getting the last set cut off. And in the blue, we got the numbers and got that already done. Uh, 3,000 cc modified gas is the class we're gonna run. Backup class will be 3,000 cc MPS G. We also had to get membership cards from the Bonneville National um, to be a member there. Both Jeff and I did that. Jeff got the ECU mods to done, done to remove the throttle bodies uh, closing and also to uh, remove the top speed limitation. And today, that what you're seeing here is the second meeting. Include the first meeting we took a picture of the bike and that needs to go in with the registration package. And then uh, right after that we've got the registration package submitted with the funds in my medical form. We got uh, hotel reservations for three nights starting August 5th to Montego Bay. And I got the new trailer chalk to hold the Rocket 3. Well we found out the last time out there that the Rocket 3 tire so big for the chalk that I had that it was getting stuck and we couldn't get it out. So got a new chalk here. I'll show you that. Everything else on the checklist here we have is pending. Uh, the next big event is the first ride of, for me on the bike. I will be doing that on April 16th somewhere down in Mexico. We have to get a safety lanyard and get it installed. Now, I'm not real sure if it's going to be a problem with this because it has a key fob with it, but I think Jeff has a good idea and we've talked to the Triumph technician up there. Sometime during the summer, we're going to have to get some new tires and get those installed. Um, had the Rocket 3 service, probably oil change and wire, uh, oil change and filter. And last on this page is we have quite a bit of safety wiring that needs to be done. Moving on, we need to wrap the fuel line, install a front fork uh, stabilizer is a requirement. Sometime in June I'd like to do another test run once we get the new tires and everything fitted 
to make sure there wasn't any changes from the first test run. We have to get some uh, spare sh uh, shifter, uh, you know, things that you might break if you drop the bike, brake lever, you know, clutch lever, shift lever, things like that. Uh, we need Bill has to familiarize himself with the teardown of these new Rocket 3 and what we need to do uh, once we set a record. We're going to get some containers to take all those parts and put them neatly up so we can bring them back nice and clean. Um, sometime during that same period of time, uh, BNI will send us a package with our badges and we and also um, a sticker for our vehicle to get us out onto the salt. Right before we get ready to leave in July, we need to remove all the, at the end of July, remove all the luggage rack, uh, back foot pegs, mirrors, tail light, tape the headlight. Then uh, right before we leave, we need to go ahead and load up all the support stuff in, a, in Bill's trailer. Then we'll load the bike up in, in my trailer. We watch Jeff and Mr. Bill roll out the uh, Rocket 3 out of Jeff's garage. I'm going to go over the last of remaining things. A lot of them are happening on the day we get down there. We're going to depart early on August 5th to get down there. Once we get down there, uh, we're going to have to purchase a, a logbook for the bike and we have to get the crew armbands to go out on assault. Once we do that, we can go through technical inspection. Uh, we're going to have to gas up the bike with the race fuel there. Uh, then hopefully, uh, we're going to make our first run. Then ideally, the first run won't be a practice run. Then it'll be good enough to go into impound. Impound's where you go. They keep your bike there until you get ready to make a, your second and record run. And that's what we're hoping to do on uh, Tuesday, August August 6th, is make that record run. Uh, one, one way or another, we're we're hoping August 6th is going to be a good day for us to, to make that run. If we do it and we do everything successfully, we'll have to go to impound and do a teardown. Um, then hopefully we can get all the bike tore down and satisfactorily and uh, we can pack up all the pieces and parts and move it back to uh, put it back in the trailer and store the bike and get ready to go home. Now we're running at the last three or four steps. And then we need to order our second trophy there before we leave in the timing plates. The owner gets the first, gets the trophy. If I get a trophy, I have to buy it. And same thing with the timing plates. The timing plates he gets also. We'll probably buy a few sub souvenirs, so I don't know when I'm going to be back there, uh, if, if I'm going back. And... Uh, then we'll return to Boise the next the next day and unload the trailers and spend the next two or three days trying to get the salt off everything. But that's kind of the, the battle plan going forward and I'll give you updates a little bit later on how we're doing and how the uh, how the test run went. Uh, you, you might be interested in that. Well, of course we'll have to go down to Mexico for that. It's Flat Cap Cafe Racer out. Thank you for Tune in and stay tuned for some more stuff. Bye.